Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Every year on 4th December, Indian Navy celebrates Navy Day to commemorate the launch of Operation Trident against Pakistan during Indo-Pakistan War in 1971. On December 3rd, 1971, the Pakistani Armed Forces launched an offensive attack on Indian air bases. In response to this, on 4th December, Indian Navy sent its three missile boats, Nirghat, Veer and Nippad, towards Karachi, equipped with P-15 Termit anti-ship missiles. The Indian missile ships successfully sunk the minesweeper PNS Muhafiz, the destroyer PNS Khaibar and PNS Sajaha, and the MV Venus Challenger, killing hundreds of Pakistani naval personnel. The missile ships also bombed the Kemari oil storage tanks off the port which were burnt and destroyed causing massive loss to Karachi harbor. More than 50% of Karachi's total fuel reserve were destroyed in attacks by Indian Navy. The total economic and social damage to Pakistan amounted to more than $3 billion. After seas of successful operations by Indian Navy, India controlled the Persian Gulf and Pakistani oil route. By the time Pakistani Defence Forces surrendered, the Pakistani Navy had suffered heavy damage, losing almost all of the gunboats, destroyer and its long-range submarine PNS Gaji. Addressing to the press conference ahead of Navy Day, the Chief of Naval Staff Admiral R. Hari Kumar has talked about many important updates related to various naval projects and we will be discussing about all those updates in today's video. Indian Navy has set timeline of 2047 to become completely self-reliant as in the advent of war or conflict, we cannot depend on others. Indian Navy has obtained acceptance of necessity for 75 projects. Out of these, 89% by value are for indigenous development translating to Rs. 2,14,122 crore. All 29 ships and submarines commissioned the last seven years were built in India. 43 out of 45 ships currently under construction are being built in Indian shipyards which includes P-15 class destroyer, P-17A class stealth frigates and Calvary class submarines. Talking on Second Indigenous Aircraft Carrier or IAC-2, the Naval Chief said that Navy is working on size and capability of IAC-2 but right now it has been put on hold as INS Vikrant has just been commissioned. Indian Navy has been quite happy with the performance of Vikrant doing various trials conducted. Navy is also examining option for the repeat order of IAC-1 to capitalize on the expertise which has been gained by Cochin Shipyard Limited. As reported earlier, Indian Navy has been planning for IAC-2 with a displacement of 65,000 ton at an estimated cost of Rs 50,000 crore. As per Navy Chief, it is right now at discussion stage and Navy has not yet formed up mind nor have taken it up to the government. The Navy Chief also said that the Light Combat Aircraft LCA Navy project will significantly help in developing the proposed next-generation deck-based fighters. Navy is preparing the draft cabinet note for that and confident that by 2026, Navy should have the prototype. The production of aircraft would start by 2032. In interim, Indian Navy is also evaluating the trial results of F-18 Super Hornet and Afal M and will take decision best suited in Navy's interest. Answering to the queries about the procurement of Predator drone, the naval chief said that the case for it is under process. The original proposal was to procure 30 MQ-9B Predator armed drones at a cost of over 3 billion US dollar to crank up India's surveillance apparatus along the frontier with China as well as in Indian Ocean region. Indian Navy is discussing whether this number have to be rationalized. In 2020, Navy had taken two MQ-9B Sea Guardian drones on lease from General Atomics for a period of one year for surveillance in Indian Ocean. The lease period has been further extended. 
Indian Navy has gained significant experience while operating the leased drones. So these were the comprehensive update related to various important projects of Indian Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.